So, what's going on, everybody? This is Sky Turner here. So today, I'm going to introduce you to one of my one of the new legion that was released in this month, which is the Defenders of Caliban. So this is not the kind of video I usually do because I always I always do playthroughs, blah 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 and blah blah blah. So I don't have really time to do some introduction and uh, some explanation of the deck, of the card themselves. So let's start with three warlord. We have Lord Cipher, which I predict will be in the game. Obviously, so important. We have Luther, the Grandmaster of Caliban, and then Zerahel, Zaharel, Zaharel. I don't know how to say this. I don't know. I don't care either. So Lord Cipher is an epic warlord. He has the ability to choose one target from your deck and draw it, which is pretty nice. Again, it's pretty nice. So yeah. You can just put your troops uh, in the first place. So yeah. So second, we have Loser, whose ability is give minus three and zero to an enemy this turn. So this ability is pretty good if you are a Night Lord, since there's some fear sort of stuff. And uh, but this is pretty good. This is a uh, legendary. I don't expect this to have forty health, which kind of surprised me because I thought it's only thirty five health, since you know he's not as strong as. Primer definitely. So yeah, I know. And here we have Zahario, Zahario, Master of the Mystic. He has a Terracite, which we will take a look at later. And he can put in an Astralis Recruit. So overall, the three warlords are pretty strong. Very strong, I should say. This guy has the ability like, like her, like Lotara Sarin, who can who can put in. Play as two or three armor, which is kind of the same, but uh, this is better. And by the way, the fact they change the faction setting, they have trader, loyalist, unaligned, and neutral. Which unaligned is for defenders, caliban, the, the uh, what is it called? Belongs to you. So, yeah, so then we have caliban jagors, a very common card, its ability is to deal one damage, but uh, but now it has dupli duplicos. Which the enemy will cannot target this unit until it acts, unless it has frontline. So here it acts. So that's right. That's important. Sing before you act. Vigi vigilance. Get two. Get plus zero attack and plus two health and frontline to a front to a friendly troop. Which it's not too bad, but I like the fact it can give two health and frontline, which is pretty good buff in some ways. Then we have Ariok, Ariok, Reckon Squad, which is a pretty powerful one. It has duplicates, it has rally, a random enemy loses stealth, loses itself, stealth. So, and it has a very good stats. It has 3 attack and 2 health, which is pretty nice. This is a tool that everybody will try to use. So, he is very similar to some Reckon Squad, which I forget what can say because they're too much. So, yeah. This is a very hard overall. Then we have a starter recruit who has duplicates and uh, two over three stats, which is pretty nice. One more health above the average. However, I don't recommend taking this card since the power here, Zaharia, can actually put in play and a starter recruit, so I don't think it's needed too much. Then we have Head One Squad, which has duplicates again. This is a card that I believe most. Uh, Defender's Caliban has, and he has the attack. Again, pretty nice, and it has an average stat, so I might take this card. Then we have a Local Uprising, your troops with 3 or less health gain sneak attack this turn. So this is pretty nice, again, but this is very limited, you only like 3 or less attack, so you can just do the, you can just do this and then buff on your troops, so yeah, this is worth playing. So then we have Uncertain Allegiance, give duplicates to a friendly unit until your next turn. So this is good, because it can also draw a card in the meantime, and you can give this to uh, to uh, to your Warlord, so it's pretty nice, cannot be attacked by the enemy Warlord. So, and then we have Alahos Squad, who is like, who is a, a South Squad, that looks pretty old this picture is in the meantime, by the way. And uh, it has two pistols, two one pistol and a sword. It has duplicates again. I said it already. 
it has very good stats. Actually, it's pretty average. It's like still has three average, but it's like yeah, it has four attack and two. So this is a pretty I don't know lovely card. I like it a lot. Do you know betrayal, which is what's happening for the defenders of the Caliban. Because they deal two enemy two damage to the enemy warlord, plus one for each troop you control. So this is like the situation of ultimate betrayal. Like when you have so much troops, like you have more troops, you, the enemy, your the one you serve, you was you once served will take more damage, lose more troops. So this is pretty reasonable, very scientific. And we have Calabas Crusade that was sent an epic card. I don't have it by the way. Heal 5 to our destroy friendly unit, discard all chaos cards in your hand. So, this is not very logical since Defenders of Caliban is sort of like fallen into dark, into chaos instead of like deprive. Oh, no, wait. Like outcast from the chaos. So, it's kind of different. I don't like this lore a lot, but hey, guys, this is Caliban's Crusade, so it has. Big sense. So I was I used to expect that this one should be like the alternate art for the lion, but I was wrong. Again, I'm so stupid. Then you have Epistolari. Epistolari. Through you. I don't know how to say this name. It's so complicated. So basically, I draw a card and if it's a target, deal 2 damage to enemy warlord. So this is very similar to Lord Side Visibility, except he's not so different now. So yeah. So we have Exile Veterans, which is exactly what happened to uh, to the Defenders of Caliban. However, this is not bad because it transformed a friendly Astartes into a Magron Veterans, which I will show you why this card is awesome. So next we have Master Ramil, who has duplicates. Again, I don't want to say this, okay? Most troops have one, so don't care about that. Adjacent units has have two plus, so very good support card. I would recommend maybe putting out where you want your troops to act. Next turn. Then, Secret Assembly. Put two random troops with duplicates in your hand. So, this is good because, as I said, most troops in the Defenders of Caliban has duplicates. So, you might have the chance to get a legendary. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And reduce that cost by one. Nice. This is a very good card. So we have Wardens of Eldorok. So by the way, I might speak a little bit too fast today just because I want to finish this as quickly as possible. Because I'm still waiting, I'm waiting to play them guys. Yeet. Anyway, so we have as one of the order. Wait, I think I'm doing this one. Oh yeah, I'm doing this one. So it doesn't have the duplicate things. This it's more like the actual Dark Angel of Star Days. And it gives one plus one to your other Astartes and infantry troops. Not include custodians, so. What do I even say this? I mean, wow. Well, and then we have Aspirants of the Order! Uh, two Astartes recruits. Very reasonable. And this is the male and Zaharil. Zaharil? I think that's how to, say how to say his name. Anyway, who cares? So then we have Caliban Knight. Caliban Knight. This looks like the. <laughs> like the actual medieval era soldier. Holy dude, what is this? Okay, this his stats is a bit lower than the average, so not too good. But he can put in play a Caliban Jagers, which not pretty good in my opinion, but still. It's always good to have extra troops. What's duplicates by the way? So then it's Obsidian Zero Two, which is a pretty good name because it's just it's very sturdy and uh, it ability proves that because he has 5 health and 3 attacks and he has front line. So these are really good troops except it, this is better because it has ability of put in play and Australian recruits. Again, I'm gonna see a lot of in this game. So say we have Pride of Caliban, your warlord gains when you put in an infantry play can act again. So unlike Dark Angel, the defenders of Caliban might become uh, infantry based deck like the word bearers. So, yeah. Surgeon Daria, my favorite one so far. Destroy a friendly infantry and deal 5 damage to a random enemy. Oh, it has average stats. Let's not speak about that, but it's so good. 
It's so good. It's a pretty good a friendly infantry. Think about it. If it's an Alpha Legion, that stupid. What's it called? I'm saying. I think the Alpha Legion called this one. Uh, where is it? So it's here. Uh, what the? Where is it? Where is it? Ha, ah, sleeping operator. Of course, an infantry, so if you got that, get rid of that with your troops. Let's go. That's a pretty good. So, this is a very good against Alpha Legion. Definitely, guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Definitely. Then we have strat Strategic Mastery, which, with its name, your troops get 2 plus for all stats, which is very nice. And the general troops, so, like, yeah, pretty good. Then we have Tartian, a Sus Squad, Flank. Backlash, draw a card. Okay, uh, good job, buddy. Not bad. So it has a backslash and flank. That's all it has. It's so normal. It's very normal. Send to death one, like at the beginning, like to snipe some big, some medium troops. Then we have champion of the order. After attacking an enemy, lower its attack to zero until the next turn. So that's why I don't know. Like I don't know about this one. This seems weird. Like after attacking an enemy, lower its attack to zero until your next turn. This is like the Terra Squad, but it's better because you can have this promise to get zero attacks. But still, uh, yeah, this is not bad, I would say. It has an average stat, but its ability is sort of weird. I would not take it. Alas, your troop is very vulnerable. Well, Knightly Fortress, Friendly, Kin Attack, putting two Caliban Jaegers. I don't want to speak of this. This is sort of bad actually. I don't like it, I don't like it a lot. It's five cost. Yeah. But then this card, Magrum Veteran, it's such a good one. It's so good that it has duplicates and it has battle honor gang duplicates. I love it. It's so good. Like it's so good. And has have has sort of average that I'd say. Not bad. Then we have Rising the Banner. Draw three cards for every troop you draw. Putting one Caliban Jaegers. Again, another patriotism stuff. I don't want to say about it. Too much Caliban Jaegers, guys. It's too much. Then we have Surgeon Yofio. Your infantry troops can act again. Wow, this is so good. It's about infantry, guys. This is just war bears, but with loyalists or unaligned ratio, literally. Then we have a TS, a pretty average, pretty average, like one below average. Duplicates, enemy units have plus neg negative two over zero during your turn. Again, not too bad, not too shabby, not too bad. I like it a lot. This is like the the cheaper version of the Curse's Chosen. Not bad, always. It's always good to have a cheap card like this. A carnival death destroy a random enemy for each friendly troop. So it's pretty good if I have if you have too much Caliban Jaguar, guys. So that's how it works. And yeah, I like a lot. Prato Castillo. When a friendly troop dies, put in player Caliban Jaguars. Again, I don't want to say about this. It's too annoying. Do you have vulnerable? who has no ability but has one higher average stats. Not bad. That's what I want to say. Then we have Brand of Fire, who's a predator, bear predator as he is. He deals two attack damage if the target dies, gain flank. Not too bad, not too bad. I would say medium to above. Yeah. But it has only a few health, which it's not a good point. It's not a good stats. I mean, ability is not too bad, but it requires a lot of teamwork, which I don't like it. Then we have Irresistible Krasma. I don't want to say about it, this is so disgusting. The name is so disgusting. <laughs> Taking control of an enemy troop destroyer and give it fast. Yeet! Then we have Sarash, Veterans, Relentless, Heal, 4. Okay, so if this combined with Vigilantes, it will be awesome. And you know why? It's always a lot of health and good protection. Then we have Caliban's Hurt. Puff. Oh my god, I don't say it about this. There's so much Caliban Jager in this game. Pass. Then we have Inner Circle Terminator. So this is like the Forge World version of Dark Angel Terminators. You guys it? Yes, that's right. This is Inner Circle. 
Looks pretty nice. Stats is pretty average. Give one plus one to other studies. Again, very good support troops, but it's a heavy support. Get it? Ha! Next up, my commander. Well, turns a friendly Astartes. Turns a friendly Astartes into a Magron veteran. I love this ability. It's so awesome. Holy wow. It's like improving the stats above 100%. Like, like, you see like troops like this, this, can turn, can turn, and this, can turn into, into uh, this, a green car from a white to green. That's a quality improvement. Awesome. I love it. That's so good. I have to get this card. I have to get this card. I have to get this card. Last but not least, we have okay, not, not not last but not least, but still, Ogorak. Choose one defender of Caliban Astartes and put in play. It's very good, except it does have it doesn't have. Except it doesn't have active game, so mm, it's a bit disappointing. I love it. It's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, I am very disappointed. Yeet. So we have behind enemy lines. Not too bad. It's Deal 2 damage to all enemies for each friendly unit. Okay, so, um. So, does that mean that if I have 2 units, 2 troops, it means it can deal 4 damage to all enemies? I think it's that, that's just how it works, so. It's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. Last but not least, we have Sunblade 2. Last one is to have Sunbreak Truth, Spartan Assault Tank, Backlash, putting in the circle Terminators. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'll put it in because that's an extra troops. Okay. La okay, so we have counter attack. So we have counter attack, give sneak attack to turn to a friendly unit with three or less attack. Pretty good. I like it. Good for us. And it's also you can do it for warlord, so easy for the wall to destroy a troop. And last but not least, we have the only special in the Defenders of Caliban, which is a shame because Luz Sir doesn't have one. Such a shame. Terracide, 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 you wall attack again. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know, I don't know, it's like I've been introduced a lot and then it turns out. Let's act again. Okay, sneak attack, act again. Let's go, buddy. So there you go, guys. This is the end of the video. This should be a quick video or a boring video. I don't know how to say, but I think it's a good video. So, no matter what. So, yeah. So, yeah, today, this video is special because this is the first time I'm doing an introduction of a Legion. So, Comment section below to say what I'm bad at or what I'm good at in this video. So yeah, please do that. And besides that, if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more video on Horror Series Legion, subscribe to my channel. Besides that, if you want some new video, some new content, and some new games, comment in the section below and I will try my best to fulfill your wishes. Besides that, see you guys later. Stay healthy and also stay positive. Bye guys. See you later.